Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Nakayama Miho no Tokimeki High School. Well, I'm not going to be playing this one, there's pretty much nothing left to show off. Except for the two things below New Game Continue. Those are name and service data. And those were for a little contest that was around when the game first came out and can no longer be played. It's been a long time since the contest ended. The name section lets you put in your info, your name, gender, birthday, age, I guess like the most basic of information. So that way, when you sent your data of, the, of, your, of your save file through the disk fax station at the uh, gaming store in Japan, or whichever one you went to that had one, you could be readily identified and you can case you actually got picked for one of the 16,000 prizes available, you would be able to know just by reading a chart near the this back station in the store. And we got the service data, which has a note from Miho, which basically explains the contest. It ran from December 19th, 1987 to February 29th, 1988. There were 16,000 prices to give away, and it all depended on your ending. If you were one of 8,000 that got the got the blue ribbon ending to be picked, you would get a phone card, which I want to assume would be a number to Miho Nakayama's fan club. And if you were one of 8,000 that had a red ribbon ending that got picked, you would be able to get a VHS of Miho Nakayama, along with a note from Miho herself. I want to think that that VHS has music videos of her music from her career up to that point, but once again, I have no way of knowing or making sure. So I'm just going to have to readily assume. Just like the phone, just like the phone number system in the game, the contest ran for a very specific amount of time, and it ended shortly after the game came out. But still, it's worth one worth mentioning, making the game a really interesting part of history. Aside from being one of the first dating sims, probably the first dating sim to come out, and that's basically it. So I might as well turn ahead and fade the music out now, and basically mention some history about the disc facts because I'm pretty sure nobody knows what I'm talking about when I mention the disc facts system. Most Famicom disc systems were on yellow discs. And some of them you could actually save on, where the others went, that were released on cartridge form when they made their way over to America, they either had no way of saving or you had to resort to passwords. Well, there were a few games out there that actually came out on blue discs instead of the usual yellow one. These used the capabilities of the disc fax system, and there were four such tournaments, I guess you could call them, that allowed you to take your game to the disc fax system in the store and basically fax your highest score, fax your best results to Nintendo themselves. Those games include Nintendo Famicom Golf Tournament US Course, Nintendo Famicom Golf Tournament Japan Course, Grand Prix F1 Race, and Grand Prix 2 3D Hot Rally. They use a disc fast station, which is what I should have been calling them the entire time, to four contests. In these contests, the best scores, the best people with the best scores were awarded with prizes such as gold Famicom disc system discs of the golf games or say a gold Famicom cartridge of Punch-Out. Yes, those were actual prizes. How it worked was the disc fast station was Nintendo's way of linking all the Famicoms in Japan together, kind of like a loose version of the internet. And Basically, people could send in scores and see who was the best, as I mentioned earlier. 
and there were prizes to be won. And Nakayama Miho no Tokimeki High School, which I just played, was basically no different. There were 16,000 prizes to be won. Even the commercial said this. And here's how it worked. You got one of the two endings. You got the blue ribbon ending or the or the red ribbon ending. And then you sent your game finish results in through a dispatch station. And hopefully you were one of 8,000 to get either ending that would get a prize. 8,000 blue ribbon ending winners that were picked got phone cards, which I want to assume is the number to Miho Nakayama's fan club. I can only assume. 8,000 people who got the red ribbon ending and got picked, they got a VHS tape of Miho Nakayama, which I'm pretty sure just contains music videos of her career thus far. But remember, this was back in 1987, 1988. So probably not very much. Probably just a 30-minute videotape of her music more than likely. Once again, I can only assume. And that's pretty much all I have to say about this contest. Which leads me to my final thoughts about the game. Believe it or not, depending on who you ask, this is probably the first ever dating sim. Granted, it's much like Nintendo's graphic adventures for the Famicom that were only released in Japan, but this one was a lot harder because, well, it very closely mirrored a real relationship. And you had to answer the right answers or else you would get a game over all too easily. And some of the responses you had to match up with the correct emotion. Like a response that would usually come with a happy face wouldn't always work. You'd have to use like a more noble emotion because it basically shows a profound sense of thought or a deeper sense of thought. So you have to keep that in consideration as well. As a result, it went from just being a graphic adventure to being more of a dating simulation. Because it was all too easy to make one big slip up and just game over. And then just get kicked back to the beginning of the section. Nintendo would not perfect this genre. It would actually be perfected by Konami's Tokimeki Memorial Series. But Nintendo did get the ball rolling. Plus it's got Mi Miho Nakayama in the game as well. So if you like 80's Japanese idol pop, you might as well give this thing a whirl if only because it's either a curious piece of history or just so you can see where the whole dating sim thing took off. Anyway, this is Prince Watercress. Hopefully I'll be back with another game soon. Don't know what I'm going to do, but it'll come to me, I think. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.